So in today's video, I bring you an exciting new local development. Looks like we have a new cycle path coming to the area. Now it looks like they fenced it off and I can't seem to find a way around because it's not quite finished yet. They've got fences up. There's obviously no tarmac down yet. It's just this sort of, I don't know, this, this mix of gravel, big stones, chippings. But I want to see if I can get on it. A lot of you will already know how good the cycle path network is around here. Specifically though, I'm talking about the whole Flatley, Carmarthenshire, Swansea area. This cycle path, although it's not finished, is probably going to link up where the cycle path sort of turns at Gowerton, which is effectively your connection from Flatley and Carmarthenshire to Swansea. It's going to fork and instead of going along the coastal path, which is the one you often see me riding on um, around the coast of Clatley, this is going to take you north towards, well, the mountains, effectively. Um, Ponte de Lice, the surrounding villages, and the Betus mountain range. I know it's not finished yet, but it doesn't seem that far off being finished. I'm curious to know how far it goes that way, and how far it goes that way. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be a nice little slip road to get on and off. It's always nice when they think about us high speed cyclists. And uh, slip roads are really useful for getting on and off cycle path networks really quickly. It's one of my pet peeves when they do build cycle paths. They don't think about how you get on and how you get off. There's often cycle paths sometimes you have to, if you want to actually effectively get off the path, you have to sort of bunny hop to get off the curb rather than sort of going around some weird system they develop. So down there will be north and down here will be south. As far as I'm aware this used to be an old railway line. So this is it. This is what will be the path. It is really really wide and it keeps in theme actually with the the sort of the area that it links up with about a mile or so, so further down this path. It's a pretty straight path. Um, but if my geography serves me well, I think this actually comes out not too far down here, maybe half a mile. And it links up with the other cycle path, which is also quite wide. This is, this is wide enough for like six people to just ride six abreast, which I wouldn't recommend. But I'm curious to know how far it goes the other way, but I cannot go in that direction. I think I've got a bit lost. So a second day of pain-free riding. Fingers crossed now that I'm in the clear. Um, but I'm still sticking to like really short uh, duration rides. And I do have a time trial on Friday evening. So that's why I'm just sort of airing a side of caution and I think the only intensity I'll do this week is that time trial. Well guys, I've got to be honest, I didn't expect to be using this bike as much as I am. But I suppose when it's got the tyres on it and when it's like as comfortable as it is, I mean there's pros and cons. Like I love riding the van, the O2, I love riding the LS. But the last couple of days I've been riding this bike 
more than the other one. In fact, I haven't ridden the other one yet. And I just feel like it opens up more possibilities for me. Like, before I got sent this bike, I was talking to people local to the area and they were like, oh, it, if you get a gravel bike, if you get an all-road bike, all-terrain bike, you'll find you just, you, the, the roads, ev everywhere is your oyster. And that is true. Like today, I, I went on a ride and probably about 60% of it was new roads, like 35k, 40k ride, and like 65% of it was new roads um, or new paths or, or trails that I've like been to or been, they're, they're like ones that I've passed previously or, or like ridden past and wondered like, oh, I wonder like if I'm able to ride up there or I wonder where that goes. And yeah, so I'm just really enjoying it. Um, so, I don't know if the N plus one rule applies here, <laughs> but I am very grateful that they sent this bike down. More so the fact that I now have a bit of freedom that I, I won't just like wear one bike out or wear like one lot of parts out, especially like the Duras 12 speed stuff on, on the VAM, uh, on the O2, you know, that that's a very, very good bike. And I would not want to be riding that all the time around here in, in South Wales, because it's just, it would just get an absolute hammering. So yeah, it's bike doing the job.